Hi, my name is Antonio Celani, and in this short video, I would like to present you some of the research activities that uh, we do in my group at uh, ICTP. Animals have developed uh, a wide range of strategies and techniques uh, to allow them to respond to the ever-changing environments in which they live in, uh, such as the atmosphere or the oceans. Uh, in this video, you can see uh, an albatross, uh, which is uh, negotiating uh, the winds close to the sea surface. Uh, albatrosses can use uh, air currents uh, to fly without flapping the wings uh, for several miles, and they therefore can save energy for long flights. Uh, in this other video, uh, you see a, a crab spider uh, which is uh, sensing the atmosphere uh, in the process of deciding when it's going to take off. The crab spiders can deploy their silk thread uh, like a sail uh, and catch the winds and get carried away. Uh, and they can travel for uh, uh, very long distances. In fact, uh, spiders are believed to be the first colonizers of newly born islands in the ocean. Uh, as yet another example, as you see here, uh, flies, uh, walking flies that are, are following a scent, a track of odor. The atmosphere is not only a vehicle for a momentum, that is a, a, a reservoir of energy, but also carries information through odors. And as you can see, the signal is very uh, sparse and intermittent, but nevertheless, uh, the flies are able to find their way uh, to the source. Uh, so why is this connected to machine learning? Well, because we can take inspiration from animal behavior and use it uh, for uh, deploying uh, algorithms that are able to autopilot gliders, uh, to harvest energy by a kites, or to uh, keep uh, uh, insect uh, uh, cyborgs, or uh, to develop uh, strategies for collective or factory search. Uh, the common language uh, for all these systems is reinforcement learning, which is a, a mathematical uh, description of behavior and can be applied to animal and to machine behavior, to individual and to collective behavior. So if you're interested in knowing more about these projects, uh, do not hesitate to contact me at the address below.